Hey guys, happy New Year's Eve. Today we are going to be doing a manifesting and goal writing session right now. And I have my friend Tyronika with me. We're just gonna write down our goals, some affirmations, things we want to happen for our lives in 2020. And we're gonna believe it and we're gonna receive it. And we're also gonna be drinking a little <laughs> bit of champagne to come in with the new year. So let's just open this champagne bottle. Oh my nail. Oh my gosh. It's cause my nail. Go ahead. Go ahead, bartender. <laughs> Yay! We got our cups right here. <laughs> Okay. Cheers to, to a new year. <laughs> well, that's good. I told you. So I think the first thing we should start doing is writing the I am stuff down because I feel like it just, you know, empowers you to believe in yourself. I've never done this before. Well, actually, I've done it before, like writing down, like I have a journal app on my phone and it's great. I love it because it's like really fast. Like I can type so much stuff really fast. But I don't know, something about going back to a paper and reading what you wrote down, it makes you like go back into the moment and really like be like, oh my gosh, like that's really how I was feeling. Even though like yeah. when I type it on my phone, it's still like the same feeling kind of, but not, like yeah. it's not really the same. It's like a homemade cake versus a store-bought yeah cake. like a store-bought cake it'll do it but yeah it's just something about the homemade the, cake. yeah that's true that's true yes yeah, so. for me my favorite thing about it is the dating and like going back to see that date how you were feeling or yes. what you had done before or whatever yeah. you journaled about when was like the first time you started journaling when I was a kid, but I don't take it serious. Like, mm -hmm. I wish that I could take it more serious, and that's actually something I'm going to be doing in 2020. That's a goal, ah. is to journal more. Like, I wish that I would keep a track of, like, all my dreams. Like, I'm so jealous of people that track their dreams, and, like, mm -hmm. you can go... Because my dreams are crazy. Like, you can actually probably... I track them. some of my dreams. I, I do. My, I mo my mom does. My mom's a big tracker. She has a dream journal, and she writes down yeah. all her dreams. See, that's how I'm I, on about. the other hand, my problem is instead of like waking up from my dream and like writing it down right away, I'd be like, no, I'll remember it. And then later yeah, on, I don't remember. I remember. Like, I remember hints of it. Like I think of like hints of it and I'm like, okay, I remember that part, but I don't remember the rest. The only reason I will remember a dream is if it's that bizarre or Mm -hmm. If someone else is in it, because I immediately tell someone when they've been in my dream and what happened, because it just be so crazy. I always like use this journal or a journal. I like that to, journal. like manifest. I got it from Walmart. Yeah, it's really nice. So my journal. This is what my little notebook. I like that one too. I just like, like notebook. So let me tell you guys about how I started journaling. So I started journaling when I was young. Like I had this little high school music musical notebook and i still have it till this day like it's in the room it's crazy how therapeutic it is to just journal things down and then go back and look at it and be like oh my gosh i, I really grew so much from that situation that was a year ago oh my gosh like yeah. it's it's crazy and it's really like therapeutic and really makes you want to like continue to do it so i don't know why i don't do it enough because every time i journal i think like oh my gosh i'm gonna journal tomorrow and then tomorrow comes and i don't do it <laughs> but this 2021 i'm gonna be journaling okay so one of the affirmations that i just wrote is i love living in my unique female body it has features that are distinctive and make me who i am i really like that and the reason why i wrote it down is because a lot of times you know Females, we're just really hard on ourselves when it comes to our bodies and stuff. We feel like we have to look good all the time. Like, it's just a lot of pressure to look good, especially in this day, day and age when there's a trend of a particular look of your body. You know what I mean? So everybody right now is going for that big, thick booty, slim yeah. waist, everything 
thick but everything else small you know <laughs> like yeah. at the same time you know and, I don't like that either. yeah I really don't I don't either I it's just so not much. realistic I, like, dude, that's at all thing. don't don't get me wrong do what you want get surgery if you feel like that's gonna make you happy and everything like that do it I'm happy for you but I also feel like we do still need some girls to stay on the the yeah, sure. natural trend okay and honestly these trends are gonna end one day the natural bodies are gonna be back in and the thick girls are gonna be like damn what do i gotta do now i need to get another surgery because now i need to be skinny i wrote that down because sometimes especially for me i feel like I, would, I don't always look my best every single day and i know that i could do something about it like go to the gym and all that stuff but sometimes i don't and when i don't you know, it discourages you even more because it's not easy to work out. It's really not. It's a mental thing. <laughs> and sometimes I don't be having the mental capacity for it. <laughs> that was one of the affirmations I wrote down. What about you? I am at peace with my body and accept it as it is. It was created to do amazing things. I like this because we do put too much pressure on our bodies, like as women collectively, because like how she was saying with the whole trend, and I really just do not like that. And this is supposed to be the body positive era, yet people promote being unhealthy, not working out, not eating right, but just going straight to surgery. Like if you even think about it, like we will check ourselves out and like look at our butt all the time and like wish that our butts were bigger because of all these music videos and what they're putting on TV. This is our vessel. It's more than just like looking good. So I really like that one. So I just wrote another one down that I really, really like and I want to talk about. It says, I choose to release love, happiness, and gratitude in the world today. Life is precious and beautiful, and I choose to focus on the positive. I've been learning, but I'm not. No, okay. How do I word this? <laughs> Let me word this you got this, friend. I've been learning what my, my bad traits are, okay? So one thing about me is that I'm always in a good mood for the most part, but when that... One thing that annoys me, I act, yeah. Mm -hmm. I feel like I need to, no, I'm just saying like how like when I do have an attitude or like something, like it's really yeah. bad. Yeah, like, speak on it, let the people know. I feel like something that I need to work on myself is like my attitude more. So that's why I wrote that down. And just gratitude. I do pray every day. My prayer thing is just like anytime. Like anytime I think about praying, I do. I'll, even if it's in my head and I'm just saying like, Lord, thank you for this day. Or Lord, I just thank you for my life. You know what I mean? So anything. So I want to be more thankful every single day and being positive because you never know what other people are going through like you never know and you don't want to be having a negative vibe and then you add to their negative vibe and then it's two negatives and then it's just like sparks and it just doesn't work so. this one says instead of judging other people i only judge myself on whether or not i want to i'm being the best person i can be this is a better use of my time i, I really like that. like that one in life in general anytime i catch myself in the slightest judging someone i try to immediately take that back and put it on myself and i'm like why are you judging this person i hate to judge other people i need to get it together myself and yeah. like focus on myself redirect myself worry about something that I needs to be doing and like i'm just like sis yeah you can't be doing that now we're going to be talking about our personal goals that we want to work on let's start with health because health is important without you being healthy you can't do nothing else so for me my healthy goals i eat out a lot I'm not gonna lie i wish i didn't my first thing would be like how can i eat at home more eating at home more requires buying groceries so i have to buy more groceries and i have to cook and i have to learn how to cook because cooking is not really my favorite thing to do but don't get me wrong i know how to cook a couple meals but other than that i'll probably be eating the same couple meals every time <laughs> and to be specific i want to eat in like how many times a week i would say like I would I'm gonna start with like a good four. Okay, I was gonna say five, but you write four is better. <laughs> yeah, that's your starting point. Okay, to be more specific on this goal, I would have to like write what type of food I'm gonna eat. You know what I mean? Like just to go deep diving in, deep yeah, more in depth 
that makes more sense. I said deep diving. For now, I'm just gonna write eat in four days a week. So I would say cut off sodas because I, I'm pretty good with it, but I still have my days where I'm like, damn, like I need a Sprite. Yeah. So like I today. want, <laughs> no, but I have to, if, like I don't really eat fast food, but if I do, if it's like a burger, I have to have a soda with it. Cause it's just like a water, it won't work. I don't know. I don't know. I drink water for everything. So. I drink a lot of water. It's just like, if I'm eating fast food, like I usually get a soda with cause yeah. I don't usually buy sodas. I guess with health, my other main thing would be working out. Ever since COVID happened, I've been slacking. Like I was in the gym at least two days a week. And I do need to write that down. Me. Work out yeah, at least 30 goal. minutes a day. Okay. It has to be realistic. We're setting realistic goals. I, you know yeah. you're not gonna start off by working out every I single day. Minutes. So three yeah. is good. It's a good start. Another thing I wanted to write down too is having a relationship with God. I don't even know why I didn't put that first because that is my first and really my main thing. I wrote this one because I really want to have a better relationship with God. Right now, I feel like my relationship is like, I have somewhat of a relationship, but it's not like as strong as I want it to be. And so, first of all, I would want to first thing in the morning for me because that's the best time. First thing in, in the morning, that's your mind is new, your mind is fresh. You need to bring in the day with a positive mindset. So my first thing in the morning I want to do is pray. Give thanks for having another day because she you didn't need to wake up. You didn't have to, but he made it possible, period. My prayer in the morning, like when I wake up, I say, Lord, thank you for waking me up to see another day. I pray that today will be a good day. I pray that, you know, every blessing that you have for me that will be received today. To say anything you want to bring into your life, you just pray about it. I want to read my Bible more. Even if it's just a scripture, it makes a difference. Even if it's just one scripture, you don't have to read the whole Bible in one day. Sometimes when you read the Bible, you honestly want to just keep going on. To add on to what she was saying, I just went off with a relationship with God. And but I also put give gratitude, give thanks to God. Because sometimes I'll ask and beg of God to be listening to me and understanding and what I'm going through and help me out. Because, you know, life can be a little bit more than what you can handle. So you be needing the Lord. So <laughs> I'll talk to him and I'll just be like begging. And then something will go in the way that I wanted it and ask of him. And I'll forget to give thanks. So I want to be yeah. more quicker and like have him understand that I appreciate and know what he did for me. I copied off of her to learn Bible verses. And like, if I do like one a week, that would be something that would be, uh, something I would be able to achieve, achievable. I think this is a big thing that most people, especially Christians, don't do. They will ask God for things. God will give them what they're asking for. And then sometimes God will ask them to help others and they'll ignore it. Like blatantly ignore signs of God putting people in their lives of position to help them because you know they're probably asking on him and he's putting it for us to help him and we ignore it and I want to be more understanding of those signs and like when I see it be able to help people when I can on what they need help with so yeah I feel like when it comes to helping people, I need to have like a balance, you know what I mean? I was just talking yeah, to her about this like recently that I need to have <laughs> to, I need to have a balance with helping people because as soon as somebody tells me that they need something, I'll be like, here, or yeah. like I try my best to find a way to try to help them. And it's yeah. like, I don't need to do that every time. Like their problems <laughs> are not my problem. So I'm, trying to ask god like help me to know the signs when somebody <laughs> actually if i'm supposed to be that person to help them so you have to decipher who you're here to help and who you're here not to help have you seen that meme where they're like where they're like how hard i'm gonna say no in 2021 no, I haven't. this dude his face is like like it's so <laughs> ugly like he's getting ready to say no oh, but okay. so hard know, you know what i'm talking about that. yeah like that's gonna be me that's gonna be no me i'm saying no no no, no 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 huh no let's do wealth wealth okay 
Wealth. Okay. Wealth is a big one for me because, you know, everybody nowadays is like, I'm manifesting a million dollars into my life and stuff like that. But how are you going to get that million dollars? You know what I mean? That's the hard part. That is literally the hard part. Yeah, you can manifest it all you want, but if you're not working towards it, it's not going to happen. Sorry, sis. All this manifestation thing you're doing is going to vain because you're not doing anything to get it. So No, yeah, that's a big point. You want to give gratitude oh, to yeah. what you have and also imagine that you have what you're wanting for. Like what she was saying, you cannot just expect a million dollars into your bank account. You have to be doing something to achieve that and get into that goal other than just like journaling or believing like and for me my biggest thing is visualizing it okay because i think we talked about this the other night too like sometimes you you think something you're like okay for me let me use me as an example i want to model i look at myself sometimes and i'm like Girl, you got a lot of work to do to be a model. First of all, you think of all the negatives first. Sometimes, let me tell you all the negatives that I think of. I'm 22 years old. A lot of these girls right now, 19 starting off, like I feel no. like, no, listen, this is literally how I feel. Like 19 starting off, like people are like 17 starting off and they're like, just like, I'm like, oh my gosh, did I wait too late to like start this career? Mm -hmm. Like I'm already 22. Maybe I should think of like something else to do. You know what I mean? Like every year that goes by, you just feel like oh I don't know if this is gonna still happen you know what I mean and then your body is changing as a woman like you're like oh my gosh like I'm not as skinny as I was anymore you know what I mean and so like you just have all these different doubts in your head and you really 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 have to push all those doubts to the side and visualize it seriously sit there and be like no this is still happening for my life whether I'm 22 or whether I'm 20 eight whether i'm 35 like anything like it's still gonna happen for my life because you never know like who knows i at 22 i don't work out but who knows at 35 i might be this bodybuilder that you know like yeah. you just never know you, you want things to happen for your life like yeah, when you as, want yeah, to but and you stuff can. like that but you, you also have to understand that's that goes back to having a relationship with god and just being patient and like knowing that he it's on his time you know what i mean it's not on yeah, your time i always so. take that into consideration like, i do too but sometimes that don't it's happen, hard i'll be like god's time yeah that's time because what's for you will always be for you right There's exactly no honestly i just think that a lot of this pressure and everything just comes from like social media sometimes you see it does yeah you see girls that are like 22 like, like at your age that? doing all types of shit having all no, types seriously. of stuff like, and it's like that's when the devil comes in to te tempt you. Then you start looking at everything around you instead of looking like what's right here, yeah. what's inside of you. You don't even know what you have inside of you until you just focus on yourself. So yeah, just focus on your path. I put welcoming abundance and understanding the power it comes with and not letting that take over who I am. Cause Ooh, I don't, I like that. I don't ever want to become someone who gets money and changes. Like, I want to stay who I am. I want to yeah. stay real. I just manifest that when the money comes to me and when I welcome it, I understand the power that it comes with and I don't let that take over who I am. So yeah. I didn't say change because obviously I'm going to change. My mindsets are going to change when I am in a position to a person with money because you have to change to get there. I know if I were to have money, I would definitely want to donate to people mm -hmm. and like take care of people who can't help themselves. People think, people that are on the streets, because I used to think this when I was a kid, when I would see someone on the streets, I would be like, why can't they just get a job? And now that I'm an adult, I'm like, life is <laughs> motherfucking hard. <laughs> right. Like, yeah. So I understand it. So I don't ever want to judge nobody like that. Okay, next one we're going to do is self-care. For me, I just moved to Texas on my own. Just got my apartment. I haven't moved in yet. I'm waiting for my move-in day. I really want to practice self-care and I want to have a designated day. And I'm feeling like Mondays should be that day where like I get my nails done, I get my toes done. If I'm feeling like I need a massage, I go and get a massage. I love massages. Do a little spa day if I need to, like once a month. Do my facials, because I do not do my own facials. I want to get um, a singing bowl. The music that it plays when you do it is just like so relaxing to me. I'm actually going to turn my whole bathroom into like a little like, small spa. Two hours later. And then like buy like a little foot tub. Mm -hmm. 
off of Amazon. So if my feet are hurting, I can yeah. get the massage and like without going somewhere else. Yeah. And like the Epsom salt. And like just, I have everything planned out. Having my hair done, my nails done, facials, all of that for me plays a very big part in me, my YouTube channel, how I feel about myself, all that. Not that like, you know, when I don't have those things that I'm not happy with myself, I am. But it just makes you feel good. When your hair is done, you feel better about yourself. When you're, when you have exactly what you need, you just feel better about yourself. I can give more content because I'm like, oh, I look good. Let me get on YouTube. <laughs> Let me make a video. You know what I mean? It, it just, it helps with your productivity pretty much. Other self-care stuff, what else? I'm gonna put for self-care, definitely no social media. No Taking social that time media for to me. read a book would be good. Or yeah. Find new music. I'm gonna put that read a book because I do want to read more books. Wait. And then reading that way you can be on your phone. Like you can be on iBooks and read. It's no, social. I don't even want to read on my phone. Mm -hmm. I want to be off my phone completely. Like I don't even want my phone in my face because that's how phone calls come, text messages. Yeah. It'd be like when you want to do something <laughs> productive. That's when everybody wants to call you. That's when everybody wants to text you. My phone be so dry until I open that. Bible app, the book app, any type of app that's pr productive, <laughs> it's like all of a sudden everybody want to talk to you. So no phone at all. Like throw the phone away, put it in the bathroom or something. Okay guys, so that will be the end of our manifesting session that cool. we just had. Maybe you can relate to some of the things that we even talked about. Leave a comment below if you did. Let us know what you liked about this video. I'm gonna leave Tarnika's Instagram and her YouTube channel coming soon. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram at LiberianBeauty underscore. And yeah, I'm on TikTok now too. So y'all go follow me on TikTok, LiberianBeauty underscore one. And thank you guys for watching. Bye.